Hey guys, Chris Book, Comic Book Universe, and I'm running Action Comics number 976. Now this is going to wrap up the last couple issues that were the crossover between Superman and Action Comics. And the way it wraps up is that, well, it's actually kind of cheesy when you look at it. It looks like the New 52 Superman, who, I don't know, how many people actually liked him? And the current Superman, who is also the previous Superman before New 52, they're all going to wrap up into one Superman, and all the memories are now conjointed and aligned with each other. Now, several of the people directly involved with them, that means specifically the people who are always in this comic, like Perry White and Jimmy Olsen and, well, obviously Lois Lane and John, well, they're all going to kind of have their memories restored the proper way so that both universes are aligned. That still means that Batman is on his own and Wonder Woman's on her own and The Flash and all these other people, so... Yeah, it's kind of cool, and I guess it makes sense that it would be Superman, of all people, who would figure it out, but of course it's John who wound up making this happen. Now, they all get merged together, and Mixia Spitlick gets sent off, and unfortunately we're going to wind up having to hear from him again, and it's a shame because I don't know that they're ever, ever going to be able to make an issue that was this important with Mixia Spitlick in it again, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to hear them try. Anyway, this is the first issue where we really actually get Superman calling John Superboy. It's about time. <laughs> it's about time. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give this comic a B plus. It was good. It was fun. It didn't do a whole lot in and of itself. But what it did was it solidified a specific plot within a story. And that's a good thing. It really is. The only bad thing that can come out of this if he keeps that stupid new 52 armor thing i mean it looks kind of cool but like the the neck and the, the the big shiny red boots maybe he'll modify it a little bit i did like the concept of the kryptonian armor anyway guys the cool thing about this is that we're going to see black dawn this is a new thing that's going to start i think only in the superman comics and action comics will have its own thing again which is a good thing i like the separate issues but since stories usually involve six issues, if it's starting in 20, that means it's going to end in 25. So Black Dawn should, I'm predicting, end on quite an explosion of coolness because it's an anniversary issue. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.